Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing general energy readings for January 7th and 8th. That's Monday and Tuesday of this coming week. This is going to be for Cancer. As always, general reading may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Um, check your you know, this is for rising, ascending, moon, and Venus. So check those out. You want to come out? Sure. Check those out. There is, if you look on the top of uh, my channel, there's like video, there's playlists, you know, there's little things. And there's also a little thing that says community. Go up there and, you know, if you click on that, if you don't know your, you know, contributing signs, go there. I've posted a link. I don't know this website, but I've, you know, I used it from, you know, to check it out. You don't have to put your um, email in. Some of them, they want you to put your email and then they'll send it to you. This one, you just put your information in. Okay, so this is for cancer. And let's let's see what we've got here now. Okay, um, Doreen Virtue, Angel Tarot Cards. And I told you, okay, I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And we're just going to pop right in here. Okay, the, all three cards are coming up reversed. So that means there's an extra little oomph to all of these. Let's see what these are. The nine of earth. So earth is your Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. It's your earth energy. It's the energy. It's what you can touch. It's what you, you know, I mean, it's your, it's your touch. It's your money. It's your home. It's your food. It's anything that you, you know, it's that type of energy. So enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Okay, you got through the weekend. We are now in the new moon to the full moon. And with that, this is the time for you to start asking for things, for requesting for things, putting it out to your higher power, to whoever your divine is, to your angels, putting it out there and not just saying, oh, could I please have this? No, I need this. And remember, don't be so specific. Like, I need $584.96. No, I, you know... Basically, I have bills that have to be paid and I need, I need abundance to pay those bills and to get me through this week, this month, whatever it is. You know, don't, don't limit. You know, we tend to limit. Don't do that. And that's what I'm feeling with this card. Not the limiting, but the, it's time for you to ask because it's going to be okay. Okay, here is our Ten of Fire. And Fire, again, is our... Sagittarius, our, our um, Leo, and our Aries energy. Fire is something that's, that's very, um, it, it, it's, it, it ignites, it's passionate, it's very, you know, strong, it's hot, it, you know, it cooks your food. So here you have your food and now you're cooking it too. But it's something that could be very short term, you know, it could be like burnout, it can combust and burn out, or it can be a longer term type of fire, okay? So... Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So you've been worrying yourself so much. And remember we are talking over the weekend that, you know, not to procrastinate. And again, too, you have to do, even if you, if you have to um, clean your house, okay? You say, oh, my house is messy and I'm having visitors. Even if you can't clean your whole house, go and make your bed, okay? Start with one small thing. Make your bed. If you need to change the sheets, change the sheets. Concentrate and then move on to, you know, to bigger things. It's like the little, you know, you're throwing a pebble into a in still water and it's like, you know, and then the, the ripples get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the reason I'm not saying that cancer is that you have a dirty house. It's not that. It's just that I think you've been stressing and worrying I don't want you to give yourself an ulcer, and if you just start with a small, it'll be okay. Because the nine of earth is saying, it's okay. Things are okay. Let's see what this last card says for you. The ace of earth. Okay, so this one. The influ... Ugh, I can't speak, I'm sorry. The influ... Inflow. <laughs> inflow. I don't know why I want to say that. The inflow of abundance. A promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. So if you are getting ready to sign some contracts, if you've been worried about stuff, this is, 
And I don't, you know, this isn't necessarily just for the 7th and 8th. Many of my readings go further along than that. Um, but, you know, it, it, whatever it is, it's going to either peak at this time or it's starting or it's, it's resolving at this time. So things that you've been worried about are going to be starting to resolve. It's going to be happening. If you've not watched one through the 16th, January 1st, please, please do that. Also, to check your contributing signs, as we were talk as I was talking about. But to me, this is, you know, yes, you know, you've been worrying and worrying and worrying, and nothing is going to be accomplished by worrying. Um, you've been procrastinating. We got that from the weekend reading, you know, and it's and it's it's again that paralysis by analysis. Let you know, go and do one thing of what you have to do. If it's one thing. Just do something small, and then if you're able to, then do the next, and then the next. Because really, the cards that are surrounding you and surrounding this worry, it's telling me that everything's going to be okay. Will it necessarily resolve on the 7th and 8th? It could. It could. But will it, you know, eh, eh, I'm not saying, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, for some cancers, it could, but for most of the cancers, it's like things are, you know, I, I'm seeing this big puzzle and your pieces are there, and you've got that one piece left, and it's right in your hand, okay? It's right in your hand, and it's ready for you to just put that right in the middle, okay? These are good. You're coming, you're coming into a much better place, okay? And I have to tell you that, you know, I have my list of who, how I want to do my readings, and, you know, and I, it was very clear that this reading was for cancer. It was very clear from my divine that this reading was for you. So be aware of that. Okay. So Cancer, just know you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.